I would like to pay a tribute to uh, my friend Emmanuel Fari. And in particular, I'd like to talk about Emmanuel's work with uh, David Bakay on input-output networks. This is really path-breaking stuff. I think I can say that uh, their work starts where Vasily Leontiev and Paul Samuelson have stopped. They show us how to do better measurement, better theory, better estimation, laying the foundation for better macroeconomics. This is also the first time that I witnessed uh, Emmanuel being so genuinely excited about his work. And I feel very glad, very fortunate to have gotten the chance to see Emmanuel being uh, so very happy, so very proud about his work. Now, it's a little futile to summarize uh, so much work in just a few words, uh, but I'll try nonetheless. So, Emmanuel and David's starting point is to revisit uh, an old question in macroeconomics, that of studying the propagation of microeconomic shocks to the whole aggregate economy. And by doing so, they revisit this very powerful intuition that even in a very complex production structure, at least to a first order approximation, the proper way to measure the contribution of one individual firm or sector to aggregate production and ultimately aggregate welfare is a very simple statistic. You just need to measure the sales of that firm or sector as a ratio of total GDP. Now, Emmanuel and uh, David do not tell us that there is any, anything wrong in the math, uh, but what they show is that this is only a good first order approximation. As soon as you move just to the second order, so if you consider bigger shocks, uh, then you do need to take into account the entire complex, potentially complex structure of input-output linkages between firms, sectors, regions, and ultimately potentially countries. Once you have understood how microshocks propagate to uh, the macroeconomy, step number one, a very natural second step, you essentially have already gotten a theory of aggregation. So this is the second contribution of Emmanuel and David, which is to give us guidelines on how to properly aggregate up the contributions of individual firms or sectors or regions into uh, total production and welfare. So a new and better theory of aggregation that takes into account the complexity of uh, production processes and uh, value chains. The third step in Emmanuel and David's work is to take into account, uh, to recognize uh, and to gauge the importance of distortions, for instance, distortions due to uh, market power at the level of individual firms or sectors that could vary across sectors. And by doing so, they also tell us how to do proper estimation in macroeconomics. Now, once you understand what's happening within a country, the very natural uh, fourth step is to open up to international trade. Uh, and here again, Emmanuel and David uh, give us guidelines on how to properly uh, measuring the contribution of international trade to uh, aggregate efficiency on a global scale or at the national level. And doing that, uh, they, they, recognize, they reconnect to the very nice Samuelson, I would call it MIT tradition, of giving us a very rigorous mapping, a theoretical mapping between what is happening uh, within a closed economy, potentially very complex closed economy, and what happens in a, a global world with a frictional trade. But uh, 
as an improvement upon the work of Samuelson with the theory of factor price equalization. Uh, they do that giving us not just theoretical clarity, not just a metaphorical simplified model to understand uh, key forces in the world, but they also give us guidelines on how to properly quantify and measure things uh, in the data. And the last uh, step, the, the fifth step, uh, that uh, I want to talk about from Emmanuel and David's exploration of the complexity again of production processes is going back to this notion of aggregation, how to quantify the returns to scale in the aggregate that emanates from adding up the production functions of individual firms or individual sectors or individual regions. And here again, this is fundamental. This is a fundamental uh, contribution. The returns to scale are essentially a key component of modern endogenous growth uh, theory. But what matters for growth theory is not the returns to scale just at the level of individual micro agents, but at the aggregate level. And the proper theory of aggregation that Emmanuel and David have developed uh, taking into account uh, complex heterogeneity between agents, uh, complex production uh, uh, networks, and com a com potentially complex structure of distortions between economic agents allows them uh, to properly quantify how to uh, estimate the returns to scale at some level of aggregation. The sum of all that uh, is really a radical uh, uh, revisiting of every pillar of macroeconomics. Uh, and this is, once again, a truly path-breaking world, uh, path-breaking work. And this is work that I know that Emmanuel was uh, extremely proud and excited about. And I'm grateful to uh, the both of them, Emmanuel and David, uh, for those contributions.